feeling a little philosophical right now. I want to talk about the poll. Talk about the new poll. Wow. When you get off your ass and you, you go check the truth yourself, make up a poll, you go out, you talk to people, and you find out everything is fake. That what all the establishment, the establishment is telling us is all made up. It's all fake. Right? The fake foreign policy, fake elections, fake politicians, fake taxation, fake military, fake health care. Fake energy grid. We need oil. Don't look at the sun. The wind gives you cancer. So we're back with the cherry blossoms. I want to talk about Bernie Sanders' amazing 38% of the of the field. Right? Out out beating the, the, the competition two to one. Right? The real poll. A real people poll. 100% accurate real people poll see they're starting to uh, lose their power a little bit they're just as beautiful in in life in death as they are in life you know they're now on the ground ready to seed the next generation you know all aspects of life kind of beautiful right So, I want to make another. I want to make, uh, put another observation that I made. I had a couple of observations yesterday, talking to voters about about how they vote or what they see in the spectrum, right? And I, I want to put out the biggest one that I observed, right? Democrats, wake up! Talking to younger, younger blacks, younger people of color. Right? The media is spinning the narrative that they hate Trump. Trump's a racist. Trump's a bigot. Trump hates blacks. I got news for you. Every young group of blacks that came by in Washington Square Park yesterday and stopped and talked and were very, very, very polite, even the hip-hop kids, you know, riding on skateboards, usually very disrespectful to everybody, as young kids can be. They would say, Trump! 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 That's what they said. Trump! Do you hear that, Democrats? Why did you lose the black vote? A couple of reasons. Why is because, A, you're not trustworthy. That's the big one. Nobody trusts you, you know? They all know you're a bunch of liars. And... And to be quite honest, most of the reason why blacks voted for Obama was because he was black. He was the first black president. History was made. Right? But that's not, the, that's not the reason why blacks dislike the Democrats and love Trump. Right? See, Trump is the rapper. Democrats, take out your notebooks, all right, you jackasses. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to teach you something. I'm going to teach you something. This is a... This is a lesson in, in, in electoral politics and in, in, uh, in, in, in connecting with people. Right? Bernie Sanders, pay attention. Is that younger, excited young people, they don't want a message of, of just scraping by, right? The Bernie Sanders message. They don't want income and wealth and equality, they want power. They admire rappers, the money, right? Rock stars used to be the rappers. Remember rock stars? They're unapologetic, bling bling. They get money, shamelessly throwing money around, you know? They were the rock, the rock stars of the 80s and then the 70s and the 80s. You know, six women in the, in the locker room, right? Gold shit, gold tooth. See, that's what the rappers, that's what, that's what Trump represents to younger black, younger, younger hip-hop, I shouldn't say black, young hip-hop mentality. And they see, they see only the potential to become 
Trump, right? Of course, the lie is that they'll never become Trump because the system is rigged against them and the system is rigged for them to fail, go in the army, <laughs> right? Join the military, fight for the oligarchy over oil, maybe, maybe get killed, maybe end up in jail and make some money on them, or become, uh, you know, wage slaves in the, in the bowels of the apparatus. Okay. That's the reality of it. But that's not what Trump portrays. Trump portrays bling bling, money. Ah, sound of money. Mm. Ah, money. He, and, and why does Sanders fail? Theoretically, on, on black culture. Because he caters to the, to the poverty, the poverty mentality of people. And that's a mistake because to, to eradicate an oligarchy, a monopoly, is not to, is not to um, impose poverty on people. It's actually the opposite. You're freeing up the money that was once, that is being stolen from you and redistributing it or delivering it back to its, its, its um, rightful owner. So that's the lesson that Trump teaches us about, about overcoming poverty mentality. But again, with Trump, it's, in my view, it's a complete lie. It's all, you know, it's, it's, it's sales. Trump is a salesman, right? Trump is the master salesman. Know thy enemy. But nonetheless, Bernie Sanders posted a 38%, a 38% uh, showing in a field of 21. Now again, the cheating, the cheat is, you know, the, the, the big, the big steal is flood the field with 20 candidates, right? And there's choice. Oh, we have choice. Ah, I'm going to pick uh, the Buddha big. I'm going to pick uh, Beto. Yeah, I like those guys. What do they stand for? I don't know. I just like them. I just look at Yang. Oh, I like Yang. <laughs> Look at Harris. Oh yeah, she's a sister. <laughs> Whatever. Right? But the but the reality is, when all was said and done in the heart of New York City, in the middle of Manhattan, on a sunny day in Washington Square Park, the people spoke, and they spoke very loudly and very clearly. And their first pick was Bernie Sanders, and their second pick was Elizabeth Warren. And what does that tell you, progressives? What does that tell you about the values of the progressive movement, of income and wealth inequality, the message of eradicating income and wealth inequality, getting money out of politics, universal health care, free college tuition at city and state universities, right? deflating the military industrial complex, deflating big oil, a green new deal for all. What does it tell you? It tells you that we're right. 100% right. Now, again, the cheating. The cheating. Bernie Sanders puts up 38% of the vote, with Elizabeth Warren putting up 16% of the vote. Add those two up, and what do you got? 56. Ah, now you're outsmarting the, the competition, right? Because they're going to cheat for Biden and try to create the illusion, the illusion of success with Joe Biden. So you can see that the, the polls are clearly rigged. Why could, again, why could I go out with my, with my, my 50 cent sign and my, my made up box that my mother helped make me make <laughs> and, and go out into the park and get the truth and find out what people, what voters really think? Why was I able to do that? And, and all, of the, all of the money and all the power and all the suits and all the, the, the would-be you know, would experts on elections get, get the opposite. They get the, the corporate pick because they don't know what they're doing or because they're lying to you. I mean, it's rather obvious, isn't it? That they are lying to you, right? But here's the deal on the election, right? There's too many candidates, right? And Cory Booker, people like Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, 
Joe Biden, Kristen Gillibrand. These are corporatists. These are people who will fall in line in a heartbeat. Are already falling in line, right? Joe Biden has nothing to fall in line. He's not even in politics. He came off the bench. Right? But the, the mystery, too, is, is, is uh, Tulsi Gabbard. I, I, people say, well, why don't you talk about Tulsi Gabbard and, and, and promote her? Well, listen, I'm not in the business of promoting. <laughs> I, I, I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be objective, right? A journalist, right? And I am objective. And I am, I guess, a journalist. And I just don't see Tulsi Gabbard having that, 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 that enormous spark and, and, and flair that is necessary to capture the, the minds and the hearts of a nation. I hear great policy. I hear sincerity and truth and honesty. But I don't see that, I don't see that rock star flair. Can she develop it later? Is it necessary to have that? Yes. Proof is in Trump. You don't need a message. You need rock star magnetism. Right? You need Trump. Sanders has both. Sanders has rock star mentality and flair. And he has the right, he's on the right side of history, the policy. Ooh, a white dove. Is that a white dove or a white pigeon? In New York City, we don't have doves, but we have white pigeons. Is that the pigeon of truth? Is that the pigeon of truth? <laughs> Remember when the bird landed on Bernie Sanders' podium? Remember that? Ah, how we felt. That truth was being revealed. So the truth is out. The truth is now on the record. Bernie Sanders is leading the pack by a two-to-one margin. And the, and the corporate pick, he's beating by a four-to-one margin in the heart of liberal New York, right in the center. How about that? Does it mean he's going to win? Hell no. Remember what I said. Bernie Sanders, 38. Elizabeth Warren, 16. You get to the end, and that's a winning team because you need 50% of the, you need 50%, over 50% of the pledge delegates to secure the nomination. Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren cut a deal. President, vice president, and you can overcome the cheating. Tulsi Gabbard, Secretary of State, winning team. It's a winning team. Elizabeth Warren, if you're watching and your people are watching, you're not gonna be the President of the United States. You're not gonna win this election. Run with Bernie and you'll be the first woman Vice President and then likely the next President of the United States. Maybe sooner than later. Don't get greedy. Don't lose track of what is, what is right for the people, what brought you into politics. Because it's not about career. It's not, nobody cares about your career. Right? Bernie Sanders, flash, show a little, show a little, um, hmm, how do I want to say this? To win the, to, to, to entertain, to reach out to the POC community. Bernie the rapper. <laughs> See, white white America loves Bernie Sanders. These Bernie Sanders is has been the, the object of more memes, the you know, rock star Bernie and Super Bernie, <laughs> superhero Bernie. But catering when when you think of people of color community, don't don't cater to the poverty mentality of it. It just doesn't work, and they're tired of hearing it. Right? Do it before the Democrats figure it out. The dirty Democrats. And Bernie, we know Russia never did it. Right? We know you know that Russia never had anything to do with any election rigging, and that was 
That was the apparatus that's cheating then and is cheating now. We know that. We know you know we know that. We know you know we know we know you know that. So come clean with that. In the best way you can. Before it's too late. Marcus Conti reporting.